All right, this is a medium to difficult uh, nodal analysis problem. Uh, I've taken it from the textbook, question 4.4. .4. Uh, that particular part of the question textbook tells us to do it by mesh analysis, but we'll get to that later. Let's do this by nodal analysis. So number one, we start off with identify essential nodes. One essential node, two essential nodes, three essential nodes, four essential nodes. All right? Number two, choose the reference node. In this case, all of them have three connections. Uh, one's as good as the other. I'm going to choose this one uh, because of what I want to do with these voltage sources up here. So we've chosen our reference node. Number three, node to reference potentials. I'm going to call this A. Therefore, this is VA. I'm going to call this B. AB. I'm going to call this C plus minus VC. All right, so we've defined all our node to reference potentials. Number four, we're looking for supernodes. Okay, in this particular case, we see that there is one, two, three voltage sources. And those voltage sources define the voltage between various nodes. And so, in fact, we have a super node that extends from there all the way to there. So there's our super node. Immediately we can see that uh, if we call this VB, then the potential down here is VB minus 30. The potential at C is equal to VB minus 53 I delta. I'm going to leave that I delta for the way it is right now. And finally, we look at the potential there. This is VC plus 30 or VB minus 53 I delta plus 30 at this location right here. All right, so we've looked at our supernodes. We've defined our supernodes in this particular uh, situation. And number five, it's KCL. So let's go over here and write our KCL equations. And let's start at A. KCL at A, there are three connections to A. Therefore, there are going to be three terms. And so it's VA minus VB over three ohms. That is the current in this direction. Plus VA over 20. That is the current I delta, which is the current down through here. And finally, we have uh, plus VA minus VC over 5. And all of that is equal to 0. Don't like that VC? Need to get rid of it. So this becomes VA minus VB over 3 plus VB over 20 plus VA minus, well, what is VC? VC is uh, defined here as VB minus 53I delta. And all of that is divided by 5, and all of that equals 0. So we have one equation in three unknowns. Let's look at the uh, KCL at supernode. And we can see that there is one, two, three, four connections to that supernode. And so we say VB minus 30, all divided by 7, 
that's the curve that leaves down here plus VB minus VA over 3 that's the current that leads to this branch plus I'm going to remove VC and put VB directly so that's VB minus 53 I delta minus VA all over 5 that's the current that leaves node C plus VB minus 53 I delta plus 30 all divided by 2 that's all equal to 0 and so this last term is the current here so we have a second equation in three unknowns the final equation comes from every time we have a dependent source there is a dependent variable we need to write that dependent variable in terms of the node to reference potentials and so we write that I delta is equal to this is the current down through here VA over 20 and there is the third equation in our third unknown we should be able to solve that I'll leave it to you to solve but I'll give you the answers we find that VA is equal to minus 160 volts we find that VB is equal to minus 334 volts and we find that VC is equal to plus 90 volts and finally we find that I delta is equal to minus 8 amps and here's our solution for a reasonably hard nodal analysis technique with several supernodes. Thanks.